No, I am not doing the thing. Okay? I'm just not. Fine. You have me now? Alright, you're as bad as the old man. Tusk is a film directed by Kevin Smith, and it stars Justin Long, Michael Parks, Haley Joel Osment, no, I'm not making that up, and uh, Genesis Rodriguez. Uh, this film is based off an idea that Kevin Smith came up with uh, during a podcast. Uh, some fan had sent him this ad from this kind of crazy guy, and so uh, he kind of ran with that and thought it would be a good idea for a horror film. Um, but basically, this film is Justin Long's character. He's a podcaster, and um, he's a bit of like a, a shock jock type of a, a guy. And he goes up to Canada to interview this one guy, and through a series of events, he, uh, he finds this old guy, and he decides to go interview him. And uh, this old guy, something's not quite right with him. And sure enough, um, he winds up drugging Justin Long, and then he has this desire to... Turn Justin Long into this object of his affections, if you will. Now, this film starts off really well. Justin Long's character is believable, um, and there's definitely some comedic elements there, and he goes up. But um, as he meets this old guy, uh, the tension really starts to build, and it's really starting to go in a dark direction, and something's not right, and uh, I definitely started to feel like Man, okay, I'm I'm in for a kind of a wild ride here, and I thought that was interesting. Uh, Michael Parks is great in this film. Um, I really enjoyed his performance. I thought throughout the film, you know, he was believable and creepy and odd and off-putting. Um, and every time he's on screen, he certainly demands your attention. And he was the best part of this film, no question about it. Then this film takes a drastic turn towards the ridiculous. Up until that point, uh, all the stuff had seemingly been in its appropriate place. When it was trying to be funny, it was funny. When it was trying to be dramatic, it was dramatic. Um, and when it was trying to be tense, it was tense. But then it took all of that and just chucked it out the window. And all of a sudden you're looking at this and now the entire thing is just ridiculous in every single scene there's no uh differentiation between anything anymore it's all crazy and that just was so jarring and really really crazy to me the problem with this film is that it is based off a podcast um, and, and way too much off a podcast because I went back to listen to it and he basically spells out almost the entire movie in that podcast. And since the airing of that podcast, it's almost like he didn't take any time to figure out how that would actually work in a film. Um, and there's a scene later on, uh, there's a new character that's introduced. It's, Kind of a cameo. I'm sure many of people uh, have heard who, who it is. Um, but if you haven't, I won't spoil it for you. But this guy comes on and he is a cartoon character. I mean, he is a caricature. And it doesn't make any sense. Everyone else in the film is based in some kind of semblance of reality. Um, even the crazy people are crazy in a realistic way. Um, despite the kind of crazy notion that this, you know, film is about, this character comes in and makes no sense whatsoever. He's completely and totally cartoonish, and I just it takes you out of the film I, I completely and totally. It seemed as though Kevin Smith. He came up with this idea and he was way more concerned with paying fan service to the people that listened to his podcast than he was in actually making a good movie for everyone. You know, he looked at those people and was like, I'm just going to give them everything that I told them about on the podcast and everyone else he didn't really seem to care about. This film was incredibly disappointing for me. I'm going to give it a two out of five. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Kevin Smith and you listen to this podcast, then it's very possible that you could go and watch this movie and love it. 
um, because it's everything that you would you know have imagined from listening to the podcast. But for just about anyone else, um, I think you're going to have a real trouble with the uh, the overall shift this in tone and the difficulty of these characters. And while there are some good performances in this film, um, the overarching story of it just completely and totally falls apart. Have you seen Tusk? What did you think about it? Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. And as always, click right here if you like what you see and subscribe to even more of me.